Can a fan like this one catch on fire? Well, it's very unlikely for a steel piece of equipment like this to just light up in a fire. But there is a potential internally that this fan could cast a spark that could create a fire. Now, how would that happen? We have a rotating wheel inside of here, and this wheel is rotating at high speeds. This one will likely be moving at about 1800 RPM. Well, as that wheel spins, it's designed to not come into contact with this inlet bell or with the housing on the back of it. But there's a potential when you install this fan that you could maybe put too much weight on the inlet and shift it so that this bell actually does come into contact with the wheel. Or maybe you put the wheel back in and you put it too close to the inside of the back housing. There are ways where it's potential that a ferrous material could come into contact with a ferrous material and cast a spark. So how would you deal with that if it's imperative that you do not have a fire in your system that's caused by a spark from your fan? There's three AMCA ratings. There's AMCA A, AMCA B, AMCA C. AMCA C is the most common, then B, and then A. What those do is they make a ferrous material come into contact with a non-ferrous material where you can't cast a spark, or a non-ferrous material come into contact with a non-ferrous material. So what happens if a fire has gone through your fan? We pretty much want to check all of your rotating pieces of equipment, starting with the wheel and then moving through the shaft into the bearings, maybe the motor on the back side if your motor is up against it, because there's a, high poss there's a possibility that maybe your wheel is now distorted, which could cause greater problems if you decide to run it after that. Your bearings could be burned out, and so if you try to run it after that, you could have bearing failure, the wheel then could fall down in your housing. You need to check all of your rotating equipment to make sure that the, the fire didn't destroy them. And if it did destroy them, go back and get those parts from your manufacturer.